In this video, we're gonna be using Murphy and McNeil non tahala and the Geneva Cutlery Razor with the Magic Mike Edge. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Murphy and McNeil non tahala And this comes to you from Murphy and McNeil for $19.99 for 5.5 ounces, or on our cost chart right there, that's $3.63, which is a good price. And within the U.S., you get free shipping, so the cost gets even better. They do donate, they do donate uh, three percent of the proceeds uh, to charity, so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, this is in the Aeon base, which is duck fat, kokum shea. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. Um, the scent on this is nice. It's in the clean and fresh realm, but it's not way into the citrus side of that. It's close to the middle. Uh, so it's one of those that I think could be enjoyed by what DK calls the Fresh Boys or the Funk Boys, which is sort of his side of the house. Um, it's a nice scent. Uh, scent strength is about just at medium. It's just approaching medium. And the notes, I'll show you right there, mandarin, grapefruit, geranium, but it's not a citrus bomb. So don't think it's a really um, big citrus slap in the face. It's just pleasant. It's nice and I like it and I look forward to using it today. I've had no problem with Murphy and McNeil soaps and their, their prices are good. Their customer service is good. All big thumbs up from Murphy and McNeil. Today we're going to be using the Geneva Cutlery again because I just wanted to try Magic Mike's Edge once again because I enjoyed it so much the first time. I figured let's go with it again. And so we're just going to miss the face today. We have our standard 24 hours growth, which you see there. And we're going to miss the face today and go ahead and use the, the cube. I'm still trying to kill this cube. It is proving very difficult to kill, these things last a long time. And again, as I always like to caveat, do you need it? No, probably not. But does it hurt? No, certainly not. At minimum, maybe it boosts your lather a little bit. And maybe it gives you some other benefits as well. I mean, I'm one of those people that I, I sort of say, you decide for yourself and you know, you see where you stand on it. Uh, we're gonna be using the um, PAA Solar Flare Brush, which is based on an Ers Erskine brush, I want to say. This was sent to me by uh, Oive when I bought the Blackland uh, razors. And we've got a really nice lather, as you can see here in our Captain's Choice copper bowl. And we hope to get a really nice shave today. I hope you're all having a great day and hope you're all doing well. Um, again, Murphy and McNeil, probably I would say they're an underrated artisan because they don't seem to get the same amount of use and accolades as uh, many of the other brands, but I find their products, their service, and everything considered to be quite good. And so if you've never tried a Murphy and McNeil offering, I say, what are you waiting for? <laughs> you know, especially if you're in the US and can get that uh, free shipping, it's pretty awesome. And they make a good product, let me tell you. And I don't, for me, the base, whether it's their Kodiak base or the Aeon base, um, I am not one of those people that gets all wound up about bases in terms of the type of tallow it is. Some people do, whether it's buffalo tallow or bear tallow or whatever tallow. To me, tallow is pretty much tallow. If the soap is slick, that's what I'm looking for. And pretty much all soaps are slick. It's hard to find one that isn't slick, to be honest with you. Okay, so let's get going today with the Magic Mike Edge. And one of the things I like that Magic Mike does, he puts this paper in here, which shows his honing progression and I wish more people would do that. That's really, really nice. And we'll see if we appreciate this edge as much as we did the first time. And man, I tell you what, it does feel great, Mike. I really wanted to use it again just to see if my initial thoughts were confirmed and you can just tell within those first few strokes. Sometimes you can just tell that a razor, the edge, you, you like it. You can just tell immediately, and this is just one of those times, it's a really good edge. And so Magic Mike's work uh, on the stones, and he spends a lot of time on the stones. He's new to honing, but you know, he's basically honing every day. <laughs> and so he's putting in the work and it's paying off. As, as with most things, if you put in the work and you put in that effort, and you're doing it the right way. And with honing, you know, it's hard to say what the right way is, but if you're following basic fundamentals 
and you're putting in the work, you can usually uh, get a pretty good result and you'll get better and better, generally speaking. And that's with most things, not just honing. But if you use good fit fundamentals and you just continue plugging, generally your skill will improve, you know, as time goes on. And so I think this is the case with Mike. He spent uh, a lot of time working on honing and it shows, quite frankly, because this edge is certainly better than mine. I'll tell you that right now, but I haven't done much honing uh, recently, but I'm happy with this edge. I think it's a really good edge. And so Mike, I'd say again, congrats. My uh, feelings on the edge the second time around is largely the same as the first, which is very nice edge. Smooth, sharp, it's a very good combination of the two. Because sometimes with straight razors, you can get an edge that's sharp, but it feels a little on the rough side. And generally folks don't like that. Or you can get an edge that feels not quite as sharp and much smoother. This is a good middle ground, a good combination of sharpness and smoothness, which is really what what I prefer personally, and I think a lot of people do, but keep in mind that straight razor preference is indeed subjective, and uh, I love this edge, and you might get it and go, oh, that's not nearly sharp enough for me. I doubt it, but I mean, that does happen. So just keep that in mind. Um, preference in edge is always very, very subjective. The soap is really good. Um, honestly, if you haven't tried Murphy McNeil, I recommend you give them a shot. Great customer service. Great value. They do some uh, collaborations with some folks in the community, which I think is awesome also. And I've just generally had a good experience with the Murphy and McNeil um, product. Just don't see them as much as I would like, honestly. Um, it's one of those things where... Um, some artisans just don't seem to get, you know, the fanfare and following that some do. But for me, the Murphy McNeil is right up there with the, um, look at that. That's very nice. Declaration groomings and, you know, A&E and everybody else. Um, very nice soap. They have quite a selection of soaps. Some people have told me they don't care for some of their labels, but that's okay. I mean, I like a good label. Don't get me wrong. Um like the Noble Otter, for example, but generally a label is not going to dissuade me from buying a uh, product. It, it might it might attract me to a product if it's really a great label, but ultimately the, the, the product inside is, is what is important. And I want to thank our latest patron, Steve Maffrey or Mayfrey, and I apologize for not knowing your name. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And we're going to be doing the drawing for that first leg of the 5K for the second time giveaway soon. That's going to be the next couple of days. So uh, the, the patrons get automatic drawings to that. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to comment, you can do that as well and get additional. So thank you very much, Steve. I really, really appreciate it. And let's get going here with our second pass. The first pass with Magic Mike Edge. Or he calls it the magic edge, I believe, is very nice. So I have enjoyed the fruits of Mike's labor. And if any of you know Magic Mike, you'll know he's, every time you turn around, he's honing. He's just constantly on those stones. And that is certainly the way you get better. And it's something that I need to do. But quite honestly, lately, it's been uh, busier at work. And I just haven't had the time, type of time I would like. And so I hope to get into it, you know, when time permits. But I'm going to tell you right now, I really enjoy this edge and enjoying the soap too. Pleasant smell. I wouldn't say it's my favorite scent of all time or among my favorites of all time, but it's pleasant. It's one of those that I just like it. I don't love it, but it's kind of bright, but not too bright. It's got some citrus to it, but it's not citrus prominent, I would say. And it is a nice sort of middle ground scent for me. One that I like, but again, it, it's not uh, it's not my number one Murphy McNeil scent by any stretch. 
but I think it's a good one. And I think it's one that a lot of people might enjoy. It has certainly got some pop to it, which I like. But the Murphy Mignot product generally, I just find to be a really nice value. And I really like the way they do business. And uh, we hope that people will check them out as time goes on. Because I really like these uh, artisans who, who give us a good value. So I certainly want to support those people and make sure they remain around. And that's one of the things to, to consider, folks. Um, uh, try, you know, it's, it's really nice to try as many things as possible. But also, when time permits, go back and, you know, visit these uh, artisans that you really like and that give you um, really good value. You know, because if you can stretch that dollar, it's always great. It allows you to try even more things. So just the shipping alone within the U.S., you know, makes it a very nice value, I think. So I, for one, appreciate that. And we see, you know, a handful of companies do that. And I certainly want to give them credit. Like the Razor Company, for example, I think after $10, it's free shipping. And that is tremendous value. And just like Murphy and McNeil, you know, shipping free within the United States. Um, excellent value there. And that means more products you can try and your, you know, just your um, level of enjoyment, you know, can be enhanced through try, or, or if you're a variety person like I am, you just like to try lots of different things. It really adds to your enjoyment and it'll allow you to, you know, you save on shipping a couple of times and that is a soap. And so, you know, really think about that when you're frequenting these artisans, who's giving you good value and who is it? And, uh, you know, perhaps give some love in 2021 to those ones who give you a little more bang for your buck. Um, honestly, I'm not one of those people that's hung up on, you know, bases and the promise of all these uh, miracle things that the bases do. I just want, see a mat or something in here, which is weird. I just want a soap to be slick and provide for a good shaving experience and for it to have a nice scent. And certainly I want the information to be on the label, like what's in it, how many ounces, you know, the company, where it's from, that kind of stuff. But mostly I want a good quality soap at a decent price. Um, and that's really what I value more so than um, the the constant base reformulations and the exotic ingredients and the different types of tallow. I know Murphy and McNeil does uh, does the Kodiak base, which is bare tallow and people go nuts over it. I'm not as concerned about that at all because I think this base right here is, is, uh, is very good. So it doesn't make any difference to me whether it's bare, moose, <laughs> you name the tallow. I just want the soap to be slick and lather well um, because I'm not looking for the soap to to do anything really other than smell good and um, allow this razor to glide very well over my face because I'm going to use a post product for, you know, a couple of post products for the after sh shave portion of things or the post portion of things to sort of help with skin conditioning. You know, the type that fits my uh, use case, which is generally witch hazel. And more than not, an alcohol-based aftershave. It works well for me. It may not for you, and I completely recognize that, but that's what I want. So I'm not looking for the most exotic ingredients in a soap. And truth be told, if we blind tested a lot of these things and people couldn't see the consistency of a soap, I think folks might be surprised as to what they would really enjoy. Because preconceived notions really mean a lot. And when you think you're getting something that you like, you know, your, your, uh, your tendency is to like it. <laughs> you know, it's that simple. So it'd be so nice if we could just test these completely blind, not being able to see con consistency consistency, not knowing where it came from and 
to have lots of people doing that. And uh, some, ba some soaps you could identify based on the way they look because they just have a, a sort of unique appearance to them and the, and the type of lather. But if we couldn't see that, I think a lot of folks would uh, have different feelings about products. I really do. I think we all just sort of gravitate towards certain products and, and we don't do it deliberately, but we tend to fall in love with those sort of brands and then they basically can do no wrong, you know, once we love them. And that's human nature, I guess. But um, honestly, most of these artisanal offerings are pretty doggone good. If you're using any of the known artisans, it's gonna be pretty good. It's kind of hard to get a bad one these days, to tell you the truth. It really is. All right, the Magic Mike Edge was excellent. Again, did a sharp, smooth, really nice. I enjoyed it. And of course, I enjoyed the soap as well. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back with the Magic Made by Witches, the Thayer's Witch Hazel. And that was a very nice shade with a very nice edge. Uh, we did follow up with the uh, alum today, almost no stinging. So that was a very, very nice shade today with Magic Mike's Edge. And again, this is the Geneva Cutlery with the Magic Edge from Magic Mike. So excellent job, Mike. I enjoyed it. We use Murphy and McNeil non tahala Very nice sort of middle of the road scent. Not too fresh, certainly not dark. For me, right there in the middle, very nice. I enjoyed it. We used the PAA Solar Flare, which was gifted to me by Oive. Thank you, Oive. I enjoyed that. Uh, of course, we used the cube at the beginning. And we're going to end things today with the Murphy & McNeil BDLM2, which is, this is based on Tom Ford for men or something like that. It's a very nice scent, I think. And then we're going to be off to the races and hopefully off to heaven, an excellent day. And wherever you are, I hope you have an excellent day as well. I hope you, hope you have excellent shaves and I hope you'll support some of these uh, artisans that offer good value for your money in 2021. I certainly plan to do so. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.